Hey there lambs, welcome back to another animal of the day video. Yesterday we learned all about the grizzly bear. We learned that grizzly bears are the most aggressive of all bears. We also learned how they got the name the grizzly bear because of the silvery tips on the back of their shoulders that make their fur look grizzled. We also learned that baby grizzly bears are born while their mom is hibernating and they spent the first months of their life only seeing their den. All right. If you watched the end of yesterday's video, I told you that our friend looked kind of like Kaya Kangaroo from our Zoophonics. If you guessed Rock Wallaby, you got it. Don't feel bad if you didn't though. I actually didn't even know about wallabies until I saw them in Australia. Let's see what there is to learn about them. The Rock Wallaby has many similarities to the kangaroo, but he's different because he's smaller and he lives only on rocky terrain, meaning he only lives in rocky areas of Australia. The Rock Wallaby's Habitat Rock wallabies live in the rocky parts of the Australian outback, and they like to hide and stay sheltered inside of the inside of the rocks, kind of behind and under them. That's where they stay the safest. During the hot weather, the rock wallaby will spend a lot of its time resting in the shade, but in the mornings and cooler night hours, it'll travel away from its home in search of grass to eat. On cooler days, the rock wallaby will spend the most of his time eating. When a rock wallaby is scared or startled, he'll stand up on his hind legs and hit the ground twice to let the other wallabies around him know that there's a threat. How cool is that? Another animal that works as a team. Wallabies will let each other know when they're in danger. Unlike kangaroos, I actually didn't know this, unlike kangaroos, a rock wallaby cannot climb a tree. So when I first read this, I was really confused because I've never heard of a kangaroo being able to climb a tree, so I went back to fact check and I realized there's an animal called a tree kangaroo and it's not like a kangaroo, it's the one you're seeing here, but these ones are closely related to the wallaby and the difference between them is this one can climb a tree and a wallaby can't. All right, let's learn some fun facts about our friend the rock wallaby. The first settlers in Australia thought the rock wallaby was a cat because of how quickly it could climb the rocks. A lot like our friend the kangaroo, the rock wallaby has a pouch on its stomach, the mommy one does anyway, so that the baby can live in there and be safe. When a baby rock wallaby is born, it ends up in the mommy's pouch and it will stay there until it's ready to go off on its own. Um, mommy kangaroos and wallabies have pouches that keep their babies warm and safe and it helps the mom travel with the baby. How crazy is that? Wallabies are really sociable animals. They like to be around each other. Different than our friend the dolphin, they don't communicate by talking or making clicking noises. They actually communicate by hitting the ground with their feet. The rock wallaby is a herbivore, which means he only eats plants. He does not eat meat. So he eats grass, leaves, and sometimes roots. Wallabies are a little bit different than kangaroos. Kangaroos, when they stand tall, are taller than Miss Nika. Wallabies, on the other hand, will probably only get about this high, so maybe about the same length as my dog Scraps. Unfortunately, again, the rock wallaby is an endangered species. We have talked a lot about endangered species this week, but don't worry. Like with all of our other animals, there are efforts to help the rock wallaby be safe. There are certain areas where they are protected, and there's a lot of conservation places where rock wallabies can live safely, and hopefully we'll see a lot more of them in the future. Wow, what a cool animal. When I went to Australia when I was younger, I got to go to a petting zoo with wallabies. They were really, really cute. They almost felt kind of like bunnies to me, but maybe a little bit bushier. They were super cute and loved it when we pet them. It's crazy to think how they carry their babies in their pouches. All right, Lammies, feel free to tell me three things you learned about the rock wallaby today, and I'll see you tomorrow with another animal. I'll give you another fun hint for tomorrow's animal. He has a mohawk. Hmm. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.